Hi folks, uh, so this is our video for the stretch of a spring lab. You can see I have a spring is uh, at its natural length, right? There's nothing that's causing it to stretch initially mounted on the stand. And I've got this thing that's going to be able to read how far things are stretched. So the way that we're going to do this is I'm going to move this up until the uh, bottom of the spring is exactly at the zero level there. So that's pretty good there, right? Uh, so let's go from there. Actually, let me get a straight edge right around the room. There we go so that we can maybe see that a little bit more clearly. Maybe that bottom. Yeah, it's pretty good. Okay, and then I have my set of weights, or set of masses that we're gonna put on here and see how far things stretch. So I'm gonna hang a bunch of different masses on there and we're gonna be able to record how far it stretches. So here we go. Our first data point is gonna be a 50 gram mass. So five zero. Okay, so you can see where that bottom ended up. Oops, uh, these things bounce a little bit. So I'm gonna get... Okay, and then see where that lines up. So if you want to use a straight edge uh, to line it up on your video so you can see, I'm not going to say the number because you need to take the data. So there we go. And I'm going to replace that now with a 100, and, a 100 gram mass. So that's going to be our second data point. Okay. And so once again, we are tracking where the bottom of the spring is. Okay, where the bottom of that spring is. Okay, cool. And so now 150 grams, and what we're gonna do there is just uh, attach another the 50 there, so it's 150. Okay, once again, where's the bottom of that spring? Okay, and now we're gonna go to 200. Oops. Boom, directly head on. So you can see where the bottom of that spring is. Okay, all right. And then, well, actually, I'm going to leave that on because we're going to go to 250 grams. So hang that there. So 250. That come down there where the bottom of that spring is. Okay, and now 300, take the 50 off. 300. spring is. Okay, 350. Oh, it wants to bounce a little bit. See where the bottom of that spring is. Okay, and then 400 I think will be the last one we'll do. Another 200 here. So 400. Yeah, that's as about as far as I'm going to be able to go. Okay, where the bottom that spring is. Okay, so there you go. That's your data. Now those numbers, once again, um, so that's one centimeter, two centimeters, three centimeters. So you know, if it was there, that would be. 1 point, uh, one point two centimeters, you know, if that was there, that'd be 4.1 centimeters and so on and so forth. So you're going to record, you have your mass, you have your stretch. Notice then if I take the masses off, our spring goes back to its natural length, displaying its elastic properties. Um, you're going to have your masses. You want to convert those masses from grams into kilograms. And then from there, calculate the weight. Right, and you're going to be plotting 
the weight versus the stretch. So um, you're gonna make a Google Sheet. And when you do your Google Sheet, it should come out. So that's, here's your weights here, FGs. And here are your stretches, your delta Ls. Um, actually, you can just use uh, X for delta L um, there, or if you just wanna call it stretch, that's fine too. Okay, so you'll get your graph from there. So remember when you put that into your Google Sheet, here's your Google Sheet, and you're gonna have, uh, you know, your A column and your B column. Since we want stretch to be on the horizontal, you're gonna replace this with your stretch, and here with your weights, right? Not the masses, but the weights. And then that will construct that graph if you do your normal Google graph, okay? Good, there we are.